Hey everyone, it's Tara. Welcome back to my channel and to a weekend reading vlog. It is Friday, January 14th. It is, I don't actually know what time, 7.30ish, somewhere between 7 and 8 um, at night. Little man is hopefully asleep. Um, and I am in need of some major just relaxing. It was like a tough week nothing like super like drastic happened at work or anything but like mental health not doing too good right now um it's it's been i don't know it's just been tough like yeah so uh i need some like me time. John just took the dogs downstairs. He's going to do stuff on his computer. I don't actually know what. Um, probably play video games, but he might. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever, I haven't said this. I don't think on my channel. John started a podcast with one of his friends. They've been friends since high school and they talk about like, they've been talking about like fantasy books. So like they started off with The Name of the Wind, and now there are, I think, on The Wise Man's Fear. Um, I'll link it down below, but I know sometimes they record episodes on Friday nights. Um, so I don't know if that's what he's doing or not. But his podcast will be linked down below. Um, it's on Spotify. Um, and I think I'm trying to decide what I want to do right now. Um, in reality, like, I need to get, like almost two more hours of work in this week um, which I can do tonight or tomorrow right now they're doing like system updates um, so I can't do it like right the second so I'll probably just do it tomorrow um, like if I do it like first thing in the morning it won't be that bad so that's kind of what I'm leaning towards um, and I'm just gonna work until I finish my audiobook which they're about like that's about how much time I have left like it like perfectly lines up so I'm listening to Life and Other Inconveniences by Kristen Higgins. Um, I'm sure I'll show it to you. Like I have the physical copy um, in my office. So I've been listening to that. I'm really enjoying it. Um, there's been a couple of parts that like flash back, which I wasn't fully expecting, but I like getting some of the history of the main characters, but I'm really enjoying the audiobook. So you follow um Emma who's a single mom she has a almost 16 year old daughter she has a really good relationship with her daughter's father um but they're not like together or anything they were never married she got pregnant really young um and her grandmother Genevieve um basically raised her daughter and raised her sorry Genevieve basically raised London um her entire like from the time she was like eight you know and then when Emma got pregnant and refused to like get an abortion her grandmother basically kicked her out and due to some circumstances they end up Genevieve and um and Emma end up spending the summer together um so you get some of their like each of their like kind of histories and like what's going on in their lives now and I'm enjoying it um it's good plus like it's set in Connecticut <laughs> um, so there's that um then my physical book is Whispers Beyond the Veil by Jessica Esteveo um this is book one in the Change of Fortune mystery which I think on Goodreads there's only one more um, at least right now. This is like a historical cozy, which is really interesting. Um, set in 1898. It starts in Canada, then they come to the States. Um, and I'm enjoying this one as well. I will say you didn't, you don't get to the murder till like almost halfway through, which is fine because there was some like setup and some things like that. Um, some character development that needed to happen. Like it wasn't like it was boring up until then, like I really enjoyed it. Um, but for a while, I didn't know if there was going to be a murder. 
um, or if something else was the mystery, but I'm enjoying it so far. In this, you follow Ruby, who, um, due to some circumstances, ends up um, in fleeing Canada um, and going to Maine to hopefully meet and live with her um, aunt, who she has never met, um, her mother's sister. And um, they all, like, kind of the, like, I guess, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, the, like, I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for. The um, niche, whatever, um, of this cozy mystery is, it's a historical cozy, but um, the characters have, um, so Ruby and some of the other characters have like um, psychic or what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, let me see. Like they have like, uh, so like there's like, like psychics and like mediums and like fortune tellers, like palm readers, stuff like that. So um, in, in here, um, they live in like a seaside town in Maine. Um, so I'm enjoying it so far. I like the characters. I like like Ruby. She's got like kind of a like sketchy shady past. Um, so she's not like a, like a completely innocent character. Um, she's a little bit like gray, which I like. Um, so I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I will hopefully finish that this weekend. Um, and then I will probably pick up The Chaos of Standing Still by Jessica Brody, which is the book I'm going to read from my 2022 TBR. Um, I also have like five library books checked out, <laughs> which I should probably read um, soon. So that's where we stand with that. Um, other things going on this weekend. Tomorrow is just like going to be my errand day. The local used bookstore is doing a sale and I probably shouldn't go to it, but I really want to. Um, that's happening tomorrow. Then we are going to John's dad's house for dinner because John's dad girl, John's dad's girlfriend, we haven't really seen since before Christmas because she spent most of like Christmas day with like her family. Um, we saw her for a little bit, but like we haven't really seen her since like before Christmas. So we're going over there to see them. Um, and then Sunday, I'm meeting up with some of the girls from the salon that I used to work with. And John has D&D &D on Sunday. Um, and I think that's everything we have going on. I don't know. Hopefully, it's just relaxing and I can just chill and like, I don't know, decompress, de-stress. Yeah, so right now, I think I'm going to um, maybe watch something on TV, and then I'll do some reading, and just kind of chill, maybe light a candle, something like that. I don't know, but if something interesting happens between now and tomorrow morning, I will talk to you. But other than that, I will see you guys in the morning when I hopefully look a little bit better than this. Hey everyone, so it is just before one o'clock on Saturday. Um, I've been running a few errands. I had to return something at Kohl's, like an Amazon purchase at Kohl's. Um, and then I went to Target because I needed like totes and things like that, baby food, things of that nature. Um, and I just left <laughs> the book sale at my local used bookstore. I only got one bag of books. It was $10.64. It's right there. When I get home, I'll show you what I got. But it was mostly... <laughs> I, I should not have done this. But it was like... There's a lot of first books in Cozy Mystery series. Um, I got a couple like books that are a little bit later on in Cozy Mysteries. I think I got maybe like two or three of those, hoping that I can find book ones. Um, I mean, if nothing else, I can find them on Amazon, I'm sure. But yeah, now I just need to drop off a book at my library 
and then I'm heading home to hopefully work for a couple of hours before we go to dinner at John's dad's house. I should also eat something too. <laughs> um, so that is where we are at today. Whew. I've been out for like two and a half hours. When did I leave? Yeah, 10.30 ish, maybe. I don't even know what time I left my house, but here we are. So I'm gonna just run to my library, which is on my way home. And then I will go home and we'll do some reading. Oh, um, last night I finished Whispers Beyond the Veil. Uh, no, I didn't finish it last night. I finished it this morning. I'm lying. Um, so I finished that this morning. It was good. Like, I enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed the characters. I, I mean, my thoughts are pretty much still the same. Um, I had an idea of who the killer was. Um, it didn't play out exactly how I thought it was going to, but I had an idea. Like, I, I wasn't super shocked. It wasn't like, what? That person's the killer? It wasn't like that. Um, so, yeah. Finish that. I will start something else later today. I'm not quite sure yet what, but that is where we are. So I'm going to head home via the library. Okay, so I am back home um, eating some lunch, but a little man's napping and John is going to go take a shower before we go to his dad's house. So what I decided I would show you the books that I got at this book sale. So I got 22 books for ten dollars plus tax um so what does that math out to be less than 50 cents a book um so i'm pleased with it they're all paperbacks which is fine some of these are books that i've read before which and i just wanted copies of so i think i did pretty good so first up i got the arithmetist by brandon sanderson um i mean it's a ya book I got it mostly because Brandon Sanderson wrote it. Um, and John was like, oh, did you get that for me? And I was like, yeah, totally. So it's for John, but we'll probably both end up reading it. Sorry, Chris wants to go outside. I have to like stand here because it's like 15 degrees outside. It's really cold. Um, I had a, like a cardigan on with this, so I'm not just like walking around in a t-shirt. I just took it off because, you know, it's warm in the house. Um, Chris, come on. Um, okay, so book one, then I got, um, I'm going to save all of these for the end. Um, I got Kristen Higgins, Now That You Mention It. I've been enjoying her books, so I got that. I got Midnight at the Blackbird Cafe, which I feel like I've recently heard about. I don't know where, maybe, I don't know. Um... I don't know. It, I've heard about it recently and I remember it sounded good. Then I got In the Garden of Beasts by Eric Larson, who wrote The Devil in the White City. So it's another like nonfiction. Um, this was written in, when was this written? I hadn't heard of this one. 2011. So the time is 1933, the place Berlin, um, when William E. Dodd becomes America's first ambassador to Hitler's Germany in a year that proved to be a turning point in history. Um, I got Forge by Lori Halls Anderson. This is the sequel to Chains, um, I believe. Yeah, so I read Chains last year, I think, and really enjoyed it. So I saw that, so I picked that up. Um, we Must Be Brave by Frances Lyardet. It's uh, historical fiction, December 1940. Red Riding Hood by, I don't even know. Blakely Cartwright Johnson? Like, why, like, where's this author's name? Sarah Blakely Cartwright, based on a screenplay written by David Leslie Johnson. I don't know. It looked interesting. Uh, Jill Shalvis, The Lemon Sisters. Um, I don't know. Had the word sisters in it. Hum If You Don't Know the Words by Bianca Marias. Ah, such a good book, and I wanted my own copy of it. Ah, so good. Highly recommend this. This was a five-star read two or two years ago. 
I don't remember when I read it, but super, super good. It was two years ago because I read it for the first Historathon. Um, so good. Sleeping Arrangements by Madeline Wickham. Um, Beneath a Scarlet Sky by Mark Sullivan. Uh, based on the true story of a forgotten hero, Beneath a Scarlet Sky is a triumphant epic, epic tale of one young man's incredible courage and resilience during one of history's darkest hours. I don't know. Um, the Swans of Fifth Avenue by Melanie Benjamin. Um, she wrote The Aviator's Wife, and I really liked that. So, yeah. I don't know. Wait, okay. Oh, okay. Melanie, Melanie Benjamin has turned Truman Capote's greatest scandal into your next must-read book club selection. I don't know. Um, the Zookeeper's Wife by Diane Ackerman. Um, Kindred by Octavia E. Butler. I read this for the first Fall into Reading Challenge. Really enjoyed it, so I got my own copy of it. Um, P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. I just didn't have this one. And then The Bake Off uh, by Beth Kendrick. I don't know. I literally kind of just like picked it up because it had the word bake in it. I don't know what's going on with Grizz. Apparently he, he wants to go back out. Um, what is he doing? What's he going to do out here? Peeing. Come on, bud. It's cold out there. Oh, this kid. Okay, I'll leave him out for a second. Um, and then I got a bunch of cozies, like I said in the car. So we have. Red Herring Hunt by V.M. Burns, which is book two in the Mystery Bookshop Mystery series. I do own book one. We have Booked Mark for Death, a book town mystery, which is book two in the book town mystery series. Um, so I'll have to read book one at some point. The Sauvignon Secret by Ellen Crosby, which is book six in the Wine Country Mysteries, but I've been wanting to read those and I just couldn't pass it up. Um, then we have, I think the rest of these are all like first books in the series. Murder at Hatfield House, an, Elizabeth, an Elizabethan mystery, first in a new series by Amanda Carmack. I literally didn't read the synopses of any of these. I was just like, ooh, a cozy mystery. Let me throw it in the bag. Um, Scrapbook of Secrets by Molly Cox Bryan, a Cumberland Creek mystery, first in a new series. And Lending a Paw, a bookmobile cat mystery by Lori Cass, first in a new series. I mean, books, mobile bookshop, cats. I mean... A cozy companion. Gotta love it. All right. Um, let me see if Chris is ready to come in. So that's what I got at my used book sales bag of book sale. Um, used bookstores bag of book sale. Um, I didn't even look at the hardbacks. I just stuck with uh, paperbacks. So I don't know if I'm missing out on some like a great discovery, but oh well, that's what it is. So anyways, um, I'm going to finish my lunch. And then I should go work for a little bit. Um, so that's the game plan. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hey, everyone. Uh, so it is Sunday night. It's like 930. Um, and I was just thinking, like, I don't know if I should just do weekly vlogs and start them like Friday afternoons and then go through the week because I feel like a weekend is too short and it's like I'm not going to start and finish books in a weekend so you guys are getting like half of my thoughts if that makes sense so I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to extend this and go like Friday 
afternoon, like after work, to like Thursday, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to play around with this. But anyways, it is Sunday night. Um, today, let me back up a little bit. So last night we went to John's dad's house and just had like a, I mean, a good time. We had dinner. Like it was really just, it was just me, John, little man, John's dad and his dad's girlfriend. And we just like hung out. We had some football on in the background, um, played with little man. Then we tried, like John and I tried to put him to bed in like a pack and play in like one of the bedrooms, which like he's done, he's slept at their house like multiple times in the past, but like last night he was not having it. So like we like laid him down and we tried to play sequence, the board game. Um, I'll try and put a picture of it in here. Um, but it's like a board game that uses playing cards. It's fun. Like it's an easy enough game to play so you can like play and still have like conversations and stuff. Um, but we ended up coming home fairly early. Uh, we got home by like 8.30. Oh, so that we could put little man to bed in like his own bed. And then um, I just kind of like hung out. I watched some like TV shows and then came to bed. And then today um, I went to the grocery store. There's like a chicken shortage or something. I don't know. Like I went to the grocery store and <laughs> tried to buy some chicken. There were like all these signs up that said like, oh, due to like bad weather and like Delaware and Maryland, we don't have chicken. I mean, it's just the times we live in, right? I mean, luckily John and I, we like try and buy meat when it's on sale and like freeze it so that we have some, so like I have enough meat to like get us through, um, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, crazy times we live in. And then I went to one of my friend's houses, um, who I used to work with at the salon and we, like me and her and another one of my former coworkers, we were just like hanging out for a few hours, just like talking, catching up. They keep me, you know, in and all the... <laughs> the gossip and the goings on at the salon. Um, and then I came home. John was supposed to have D&D &D tonight, but it like, oh, it got canceled. Um, because like one of them, one of the guys that he plays with had like a possible COVID exposure and a couple of the other people that he plays with, like work in schools. So they have to be like kind of careful about it. So they were just going to do virtual, but then like, they couldn't, like, figure out a good time that, like, would work for everyone. This, that, and the other, blah, 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 blah. So now John's just, like, downstairs hanging out with, I don't know. I don't know what he actually does when he's downstairs. Um, <laughs> plays video games, watches YouTube. I don't know. Um, so I just um, watched another excuse me, watched another TV show and now I am in our bedroom and I'm going to, I think, try and watch some booktube. Um, I've finished both of the books I was reading at the start of this vlog. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to read next. Um, I don't know what I'm going to listen to on, like, listen to, but I'm either going to read Mold to Death by Kate Lansing. This is book three in the Colorado Wine Mystery. Um, which I didn't even know was out. So got that. I need to read that this week because it's going to be due back on Saturday. Um, and then I have The Chaos of Standing Still, which is probably what I should read. <sighs> but we'll see. Um, I tried to see if this was available on audio. Um, through Libby, but it's not. I mean, this, I think it's going to read quickly. It's 400 pages, but like, I think it'll read pretty quickly. Um, so those are going to be, I think my two books this week, plus, um, plus an audio, which I don't know what that's going to be yet. So that's where we're at right now, but I'm going to kind of hang out in the bedroom. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to hop on, say, like catch you up on what else happened this weekend 
and um, say that I think I'm going to extend this um, just so like you guys see a little bit more of my reading. Even though I don't do a lot during the week, I've been trying to like make sure I'm doing reading. So I think that's what's going to happen. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. <laughs> um, you guys might not even see this. At, like who knows? Who knows what will happen? But anyways, I am going to... Um, do what I just said I was gonna do so I'll see you guys later hey everyone it is now Wednesday it's been I won't go into it it's been an interesting day um very like um I'm very drained right now um We'll just leave it at that. Let's just say um, I'm hoping that there are some big changes headed my way soon. <laughs> Fingers crossed. And if that happens, I will let you know. Um, so reading updates. Um, I started the audio of One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. I am 120 pages in and um I'm not like hating it like I did not like red white and royal blue by her like I DNF'd that um which is like I'm in the super minority as far as that goes um so I was a little bit nervous about this one um but so far I'm enjoying it now granted I'm maybe a quarter of the way through um but so far I'm enjoying it um it's got like this like interesting like I don't know supernatural element to it that I don't know how I didn't realize it had it because it literally says it like in the synopsis like it literally says she's literally displaced in time from the 1970s and somehow I missed that in the synopsis but like so there's a little bit of like a supernatural element which is interesting I like it um so we'll see how it goes we'll see if I continue to like it because like with red white and royal blue I didn't hate certain aspects of it it I just didn't love the um sexy times because they were very explicit and I don't like that in my books <laughs> um they were very explicit and there was a lot of them. Like I can deal with some like explicit sexy time if it's not like the entire book. And I feel like it with red, white, white and royal blue, it was like excessive. Um, so anyways, then I started reading Mold to Death by Kate Lansing, which is book three in the Colorado Wine Mysteries. And I'm not super far into it. I'm on chapter four, um, but so far so good. I don't even think the death has happened yet. Um, so I'm probably going to spend some time reading this tonight because I really just like want to like chill after my day today. So a cozy is good for that. Speaking of cozies, I, went, I just got back from the library. It's like seven o'clock. Just got back from the library because I needed to pick up a couple of holds that I had placed. Um, I actually didn't realize that one of them was available. I thought it was just one, but I got there and there was two, which was nice. Um, so I picked up my holds and then picked up two more books as well. I also returned two books. So I don't know if that <laughs> what that means, but I have so many books checked out from the library right now. But so the books that I had on hold, I had Full Moon by Jim Butcher, which is book two in the Dresden Files. Um, I read book one last year and kind of forgot that I had read it and that I could continue on in the series. <laughs> and then I was talking to Rainey about something a couple weeks ago and she's like, she mentioned the Dresden Files and I was like, oh my gosh, I should like put book two on hold because my library like doesn't own it. So I had to get it from like the library like loan system. Then I got... Um, Stay at Home Dead by Jeffrey Allen, which is a cozy mystery series, again, because Rainy and I were talking about something, 
And basically, I was like, I need to find a cozy series, like a cozy mystery series that John would read. And she's like, I think I read one once with a, like a male, like main protagonist. And this was what she said. So <laughs> we'll see how that is. Um, she says she doesn't remember hating it. So there's that. And then I picked up the next two books in the Big Shot Mystery series, mostly because my library had them and they don't always have the next ones in the series. And so when I saw that they had the next two that I need to read, I grabbed them. And that's Till Death Do Us Tart and Live and Let Pie, which are books, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, books eight and nine. Um, so that's that. So that is what is up. Right now I am going to drink some Dr. Pepper because I'm trying not to drink wine as much and wine is what I really really want and so I'm trying to fight that with Dr. Pepper which I don't know if that's better or worse um the only good thing is that I won't drink as much Dr. Pepper <laughs> so I'm taking the fact that I went to the grocery store and bought one little 20 ounce Dr. Pepper so that was all I could drink as a net win it might not be better like glass for glass or ounce for ounce but the fact that I will drink less of it than I would wine I'm taking as a win but I'm also about ready to sit and eat salt and vinegar potato chips so you know I don't know what's better but we're going with this is a win so yeah um and I'm just going to like try and relax and decompress from today um, because it sucked. The entire day didn't suck. Let me clarify. Something happened. What happened is I stupidly checked my work email after I had finished working for the day and something happened that really made me mad. Um, and so I had to like I didn't have to. I chose to like log back on and try and rectify the situation. And I think I did, but it put me in a bad mood. And so now I'm in a bad mood. I literally like did that. Like I like checked my work email, stormed into the office, like turned on my computer, like rectified it. And I was like, John, I'm going to the library and picking up my holds. I need to get out of this house. I'm so mad. Um, so that's where we are right now so the entire day wasn't horrible but the last like hour and a half has been um just because I'm like in my own head now so I need to get out of my head and so I'm gonna read about someone dying all right I will see you guys later good morning everyone it is Friday morning um like 7 15 or so and I just wanted to come on, wrap up this weekly vlog. Um, so this week, I let me get the actual stuff that I read. Um, I read um, or listened to the audio of Life and Other Inconveniences by Kristen Higgins. I don't know where my physical copy is. I think Little Man um, <laughs> moved it and so I can't find it, but I read that, listened to the audio, whatever you want to call it. Um, that was really good. I, it was like a four and a half stars. Um, we, sorry, I'm distracted. Um, like four and a half stars. I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the characters. Um, it was a good listen. It didn't get like too steamy as far as like the romance goes. So really enjoyed that. Then I also read um, Whispers Beyond the Veil by Jessica Estevello. And that was another good, quick read. Um, it took a while to get into like the actual murder it would be, I guess, my biggest complaint. There was a lot of setup um, kind of explaining um, who the main character is, Ruby, like her past, her background, um, which 
I understand because it is, I think, I, there's at least one more book. I don't know if there's going to be more, but um, come on, Grizz. So there was a little bit of setup and it got to a point where like, I didn't know if there was actually going to be a murder or if the like a mystery was something else. Um, I don't want to say what because that would kind of be spoilers, but I loved, I've never read like a historical cozy before, like a historical mystery. So at least that I can recall. So that was really good. So I really enjoyed that. Um, so that's like a four star. Um, then I started Mold to Death by Kate Lansing. Um, I'm like, I don't know, two thirds of the way through it, enjoying this so far. Um, I read like probably a hundred plus pages yesterday. I also started the audio of One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. Not super far into it, only like a hundred pages, like a quarter of the way through. Um, but so far I'm enjoying that as well. So that is that. That is the end of this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below how your week was, all that good stuff. Um, that's it for now. Until next time, happy reading. Bye.